Hello, and welcome to this video where I will review one of the newest features in PLS CAD version 18, Report Setting Files. A Report Setting Files or RPS file is a tool that allows the user to save the settings for all available reports in PLS CAD. It also allows the user to maintain the same report settings between sessions of the same project or to apply these settings into a different project. The Report Settings file is local to a user's machine. It is saved under the same directory as the schema customizations file folder specified in file preferences within PLS CAD. Every time a report is run in PLS CAD, this file gets updated with the most recent changes made by the user. Report setting files can be saved from PLS CAD and they can also be loaded into PLS CAD, giving the user the ability to create custom RPS files and loading them to different PLS CAD projects. Here is a comprehensive list of reports that allow report settings to be edited and saved under an RPS file. Most of these reports can be found in the Line Reports menu in PLS CAD. Let's look at an example of how to use RPS files. We will use the Construction Staking Report for this demonstration. Under the Options tab and Staking Parameters sub-tab, we can change various things like the back ahead, left right offsets, and stake reference points. We can also modify other settings, say for example, under the Display Options sub-tab, we can include criteria notes and project notes. Once you're happy with all the report settings, click on the Save icon. At this point, you can override the default PLS CAD RPS file or save it under a different name or location. Note that if you save out an RPS file to a new name, that RPS file can only be loaded in for a specific session of PLS CAD. If you close a project and reopen it, you will need to reload your RPS settings. However, if you choose to override the default PLS CAD RPS file, it will load the settings from that file anytime you first open a project. Also, anytime you save over an existing RPS file from a report dialog, the RPS file will only be modified for the settings within the report dialog you saved them from. This is a great feature because it allows you to edit settings for all the different reports available in PLS CAD and save them under one file. For example, you can create an RPS file template with client or region specific preferences, and you can load this RPS file to different projects to guarantee consistency under the same client or region. To load an existing RPS file, run any report, again, I will be using the construction staking report for this demonstration. Then on the report dialog, click on the load report settings icon. From here, you can select the folder where the desired RPS file is located. Now your settings have been loaded in PLS CAD, and any reports you run will have the desired data. PLS Grid users have an even more streamlined method to load their report settings. PLS Grid allows the creation of the full report settings for all users' PLS CAD reports when connected to a PLS Grid server. The first time a user connects or reconnects to a PLS Grid server, the report settings will be set based on the RPS file that PLS Grid pushes down to them. This ensures consistency within a company and when collaborating with contractors. For more information about our software, including additional videos and technical notes, please visit our website at www.powerlinesystems.com. For inquiries regarding our software, price quotations, technical support, or other information, please send us an email using the email addresses listed on the screen. Thank you for watching this demonstration and for your interest in PLS software, the industry standard in overhead line design.